Hey everybody, this is Herc Magnus and welcome inside your Project Supremacy dashboard. Once you are logged in with your free trial, this is basically what you should see. So over the next two weeks, I'm going to be sending you a bunch of training videos to help you get using this amazing piece of software. So the first couple of things I want to go over are up in the top right corner, this orange tab is a timer to show you how much time you have left on your free trial. If during your free trial you love the software, which we truly hope you do, and you want to upgrade your membership, simply click on this orange tab with the little love and uh, heart and the upgrade your membership, and you can choose from one of our three amazing packages. Now, the first thing that I want to talk about once you're getting started is how to get support for issues that you may or may not run into. There's a couple of places that you can use to get help, and the first one I want to show you is the knowledge base. You can see in your shout outs here, there is a link into the knowledge base, which is basically a series of articles that we wrote to cover certain elements of the plugin, like installing the plugin, running into issues with installing the plugin, building schema, so on and so forth. So always make sure you're checking the knowledge base for issues because we have a lot of answers there. The next thing guys is the Project Supremacy Facebook group. Make sure you join that. There's over 4,500 members in there who are all using the plugin. So anytime you have any questions, feel free to post your questions in the group and the other members will always be there to help you out. It's extremely helpful. Um, the next thing is our Project Supremacy weekly trainings, which you should be able to attend two of them in your free trial period. So make sure you register for those trainings but you can also watch all of the replays we've ever done from this link here and in that replay area there's also a searchable box where you can actually search for a specific topic and we'll take you to the exact webinar where we talked about that topic at the time in the webinar so you don't have to go searching through hours and hours of video you could just search for a specific keyword like install or WP manage or schema or whatever. Just put in a keyword and we'll take you right to that point in the video. And finally, the last area of support should you need it is down in the bottom left, our chat bubble. What that will do is connect you with one of our live chat agents. So we do have people on almost all the time in order to uh, do support, but of course we sleep just like you do. So we do have a 24 hour turnaround time with our support. We always try to answer tickets within 24 hours. But if it's um, someone's online, we'll answer your tickets a lot faster. So now let's get started so that you can take your dashboard and turn it into something that is usable. And to get started, all you have to do is connect your websites to the dashboard by installing our Project Supremacy V3 plugin. And I'm going to show you three ways that you're able to do that. So in order to get started installing your plugins, what you're going to do is click over to your websites tab. And of course, for now, you're not going to have any websites. And the first method we're going to use is uploading our auto installer. So what you can do is click on the download plugin. And what you're going to see in this drop down is a few options. 99% of the time, you're going to use the automatic installer. If something goes wrong where you have a specific PHP version, um, running on your site, then you can download the PHP version from 5.6 and up and install that or the PHP version of less than 5.3 and install that. But 99% of the time you will use the automatic installer. So just go ahead and download that. And then what we're going to do is head over into a website and we're going to show you how to install the auto installer and what it does. Okay. So here we are inside of a demo site. It's called 57 La. So what we're going to do is upload our auto installer plugin and it works just like any other WordPress plugin except you download the plugin to your computer and then upload it instead of from the WordPress repo. So we're going to click on add new and then we're going to upload a plugin, choose a file and we'll choose the PSV3 auto installer, install it and activate it. And what it's going to do now is it's going to check your server for a bunch of different scripts and making sure those scripts are up to date. And you'll get all green check marks if everything is good to go. But if there's a problem with something on your site, then you'll get an X and you'll have to deal with that issue. It will give you a reason. The two most common ones are going to be panel communication will fail, meaning that our central dashboard, your Project Supremacy central dashboard isn't communicating with your website 
or your ion cube loader um, isn't installed on your host. Both are very, very easy fixes. Um, with the ion cube lo loader, you would just have to uh, submit a ticket to your hosting provider and ask them to install the ion cube loader. With panel communication, the most common um, reason that'll happen is because you have already some existing security plugins on your site. So all you have to do is disable that security plugin for the install process and then you can turn it back on. So if you get all green check marks, just go ahead and click on the install now button. And what you'll see is that the Project Supremacy installer will install the actual plugin and then it will delete the installer portion of itself. So it happens pretty quick. So there we go. We got our successfully installed and activated V3. Just click on OK and it will refresh. And now what you'll see is Project Supremacy V3 plugin is installed and you can see it up here on the dashboard and it's already inserted your email and your license key and activated the plugin for you. So that's how you install the plugin using the V3 auto installer. And what we'll do is head back over to the dashboard and I'll show you the other couple methods that you can use to install the plugin. So here we are back in the dashboard and you can see we now have 57 LA installed and activated on the site and ready to be managed. But before we start managing anything, we're gonna show you the other ways to add websites to your blog. And this one is gives you the ability to add Project Supremacy right from within your dashboard. So all you have to do is in the Websites tab, click on Add Website, Add a Single, and then you're going to have to in, supply some login details to your WordPress site. So what I'm going to do is choose the protocol, whether it's uh, whether you have SSL installed or not, and I do not for this one. We'll supply the domain name, and then we'll supply the login path um, for our WordPress blog. By default, wplogin.php is the one that they use, so that'll be what you use most of the time. However, some people install plugins um, to change the login path, so just make sure that if you have that scenario that you install the right login, login path. And the correct way to check is just to click on this URL because it builds itself based on these three elements. And if you click on it and it takes you to a login screen, you have those correctly. If not, you'll have to uh, fix these so that you are supplying the right credentials to your actual login URL. Once you have that installed, you know it's correct. Then just put in your username and password for your WordPress account and click on add now and it will add the plugin in the same way that uploading it does except you don't have to go anywhere. To check on the status of any of your add single um, processes, you can just click on view progress and it'll show you that this one right now is installing itself. So it does take a few seconds, so I'll pause the video and show you what happens when it's done. Okay, that took about 20 seconds, but you can see that we now have PSV3 uh, successfully installed, so we can clear the finished results so that we have an empty table again. And now when I just click on the refresh of the page, you'll see our second website is now installed, Stop Childhood Obesity. So for the third method, we're going to show you what happens when you want to install a lot of blogs all at once. And for that, we're actually going to use a CSV file. So what you're going to have to do is supply. OK, we're going to add from a CSV. And what you're going to have to do is supply a CSV file in this format. You're going to have the full path to your login page of your WordPress domain then a comma, then your username, a, another comma, and then a password, and repeat that pattern for all the domains that you want to add. So what I'm going to do is just load up the file and then run it so you can see how that happens. So what I've done is I've uploaded the CSV file, and you can see I only had one entry in it for this site, CDE Music, but it looks a lot like the past one where it just shows you the site and it shows you the status of the site. So anytime you want to check um, on you know all of your sites, because obviously you probably won't be using the CSV method for just a single site, you'll actually be doing it for uh, a number of sites. You can once again, just go ahead and click on view progress and it will tell you whether it was a success or whether it was a failure. If it's a failure, you might want to revert to manually uploading the auto installer yourself so you can actually see what's going wrong. So once this is finished, we'll come back and we'll look at how to manage our sites. Okay, so here we are back in our dashboard and you can see we now have three websites activated and we can now start our management. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go back to our dashboard 
and you can see that we have some updates that are available to us. So we have a WordPress core update on Stop Childhood Obesity. We have the Akismet anti-spam plugin on, on the same site. And then we have a bunch of theme updates. So we can update each one individually or we can just update everything. So we're just gonna click the Update All button and you can see it successfully queued selected updates for updating. What that's gonna do is update everything across your entire network of sites with one click of the button and help you keep your websites and your plugins and your themes and your cores up to date and secure. Okay, so the updates have finished and now you can see across these three websites, there's no more updates available for anything because it has updated everything for us with one click of a button, which is awesome. If any issues do arise, there will be notifications. You can click on the notifications tab and it will tell you if things failed um, and why they failed so that you'll be able to go in and fix them. So as notifications come in and you fix them, you can clear individual notifications or trash everything so that you uh, always have a clean slate. The next thing I wanna cover is if you click on your websites tab again, I'm just gonna show you what each of these sliders do. So the top one is gonna be the current version of WordPress that you have and we have it on each of them. If it's black, it's the most recent current uh, version of WordPress. If it's red, that means there is a core update available to you. And that is the same for the bottom number. This is the version of Project Supremacy running on your website. Once again, if it's black, it's the most up to date. If it's red, that means there is an update available. One thing to note about the Project Supremacy V3 plugin is that it will auto update itself when we push an update. So every 24 hours, it will check for a new update and then update itself if it does happen to find one. So now next, the sliders, um, what we can see here is we have a manage website slider. So this will help you manage all the individual elements of an individual site. So if I was to click on manage website, you can see we'd get a bunch of information about our website, but we'd also be able to see all the themes, plugins, the posts and pages, uh, any schema reviews that we have coming in. We can manage the comments. Um, we can insert schema and we'll get into that in a later video. And then we can also click on the settings and set up our WordPress settings just like we do in WordPress. So you can literally manage every element of WordPress for every site right from within your dashboard. We also have the ability to uh, hide the plugin. So if you have a client on a site, you can actually hide the plugin from being showed inside your WordPress blog or your client's site. Um, just so they can't see it. So you would hide it um, from them, but when you need to do work, you would click on show plugin again so that inside of WordPress, you can see the plugin, do your work. And then once you're done your work, come back to the dashboard and hide it from the client again. Uh, we also have a couple remove elements where you can safely remove the plugin, but store all the work and data that you've done for a later date. Or you can do a clean wipe and that will wipe everything from the plugin and the database as well. Um, the next button that I want to talk to you about that's pretty important is the synchronize button. And what that does is it will run a synchronization from the panel, which you're seeing here or the dashboard to your website. So you can click on that and it will synchronize everything and make sure everything's up to date date. Synchronizations do happen automatically every 24 hours, but if you're working in WordPress and you update something, it won't show as updated in your dashboard unless the synchronization has run. So always be manually synchronizing your site simply by clicking this button before you go and do any work just in case the 24 hour synchronization didn't happen and then you can always be sure that the stuff that is actually on your blog is being reported properly in the dashboard as well. Now if we go back to the websites tab, we also have a couple other sliders. We have the Google page speed uh, analytics or the analyze of the performance, which you will need to input an API key for, which can be found in your account settings. You can input your API key that. We do monitor the uptime of your site. So we'll monitor the last uh, six days of activity and show you whether your websites are up or down. If your websites go down for any reason, you'll receive a notification in your notifications area and you'll also receive an email telling you that your website is down so that you're always up to date on everything across your entire network of sites. Um, the next one is a Google indexation checker and you can see these are demo sites so they're not indexed, but these will be green if your site is indexed and they will be red if your site is not indexed. And these are also clickable. They will take you to the site colon domain name.com search in Google so you can double check um, 
that everything is up to date. The next slider down in the bottom is a refresh screenshot. So you can see each of these websites is grabbing a screenshot of what your site looks like. If for any reason you need to refresh that screenshot, all you have to do is click on this slider tab and it will grab a new fresh version. One thing to note though, is if you do see these kind of uh, Asian or foreign looking characters, don't be alarmed, that's just kind of a, an issue with grabbing the screenshots. They are displaying in English, but for some reason the screenshots come in and show uh, Asian characters. So just don't be alarmed by that. It's more just to give you a, a quick look at what your blog looks like. A couple of other sliders that will show up for you is if you supply, if you go inside of your managed website and you do supply your cPanel details, so a URL to your cPanel, your username and your password, um, you will see a cPanel uh, slider here that will give you one click access into your cPanel for your site as well. And then down here on the right, if your WordPress site ever gets out of date, uh, a new slider will show up that will allow you to manage your project supremacy, sorry, I should say project supremacy version, but a new slider will show up to allow you to update your project supremacy plugin quickly um, rather than waiting for the 24 hour period to happen. And then finally, if there's a communication issue with your blog, you'll see a big red uh, box here that will say, you know, there is no communication between this particular website and uh, the panel. And a new slider will also show up that will allow you to sync your server API again, just in case there's been a communication glitch. So if your communication fails and you see that red button, you'll be able to click that third slider and it will attempt to communicate again. But speaking of that, what we're gonna show you is one setting that you should always have set inside of your uh, plugin. So I'm gonna direct uh, WordPress access this 57la.com site. So I can show you um, a setting that you should have set for all your blogs. So if you go to V3, go to dashboard, okay? And you're gonna go over to the troubleshooting tab and these two um, items, you're gonna set an unlimited memory limit. That's gonna help you um, with a bigger memory limit to communicate between the dashboard and your blog. And you're also gonna to wanna to use an alternative API endpoint. This one in particular is extremely important if you're using any security plugins like Security um, or any other security plugin, as what it's gonna do is it's gonna create a PHP file on your site. It's gonna drop it into the root folder so that we can bypass any security plugins and still achieve uh, perfect communication. So make sure you're always turning both of those to yes and click save changes. And that's just gonna help you with a lot of uh, typical communication issues that do come up. Once you have your uh, save changes, the last step you wanna take is make sure you update your server API key and that's just gonna reestablish the communications um, with the new settings. So make sure you're doing that uh, for each of your troublesome blogs. Okay, that's gonna be it for today's video. Tomorrow what we're gonna cover is the next slider which is our tagging. And tagging is gonna be, give you the ability to tag your websites uh, so that you can start managing different groups of websites. So say for instance, PBN sites or affiliate sites or sites hosted on a specific host or registered with a different uh, registrar. So we'll cover tagging and show you how to start bulk managing your websites using the tagging feature. Hopefully you guys like the video. Leave your comments below or leave your questions below and we'll answer them on this page and we will see you guys in the next video.